Before making a mask with the Unmask It, be aware that mask making requires adult supervision and lying still for 15 to 20 minutes. Mask making is not recommended for those with claustrophobia. And never apply plaster cloth over skin infections or wounds. To prepare for using the Unmask It, make sure you and your partner have read and understand the instruction sheet the Frequently Asked Questions page, and the Safety and Legal Information Sheet, which you'll find in your kit. Although skin irritation risk is small, a patch test is recommended, especially for sensitive skin. Place a small dab of 100% organic palm oil cream on the back of your partner's hand to cover about a 35 millimeter or one and a half inch square area. Open a small plaster cloth roll, keep the roll folded, and cut off a 25 millimeter or 1 inch square piece. Soak this in cool water for 3 seconds. Smooth out the excess water. Place the square on top of the cream on your partner's hand, and press and smooth it into their hand. Let it dry about five minutes. Remove it, and if no skin reactions occur, proceed. To make a basic mask shell, first gather the items you supply, listed in the instruction sheet. Set the mood by lighting candles or playing music. Discuss the vision you want your masks to represent and remember it as your mask is made. Protect the work area and your partner's clothes by covering them with old sheets, towels, or a drop cloth. Have your partner lie or sit with their head tilted back and supported on a pillow. Secure their hair back with a plastic bag or headband to protect it from wet plaster. Especially try to cover areas where the hair may stick out, like sideburns. Determine a hand signal that your partner will give later when they can't speak if at any point they want you to stop and remove the mask immediately. To prevent plaster cloth from sticking, cover your hands with organic palm oil cream and thickly cover your partner's entire face with it. Make sure to also cover halfway up the neck and the lips. Add more cream if you need it, and if in doubt, always add more. Olive oil or petroleum jelly can be substituted if you need extra. Cover the area between the nose and lips, and the area between the nostrils, called the columnella. Also cover the eyelids. The cream is harmless to eyes, but it can be flushed out with water in the unlikely event that it's irritating. Put extra cream on eyebrows, sideburns, and beards and mustaches if your partner has them. To avoid getting plaster in eyes, cut two oval eye covers, which are larger than the size of the eyes, out of the cellophane strips in your kit. Place one eye cover over each of your partner's closed eyes. From now on, read out loud and tell your partner what you're doing before you do it so they know what to expect. A mouth hole is essential only if your partner's nose is congested or if they want the mask mouth open. Ask what they want. For an open mouth, unroll, but never unfold, the large plaster cloth roll. Keep the nose holes from both layers of the cloth aligned. Measure the approximate width of your partner's mouth and the distance between the nostrils and upper lip. Use these approximate measurements to draw a mouth hole with a felt pen and cut it out, making sure to cut through both layers of plaster cloth. To continue making your mask, take your unrolled large plaster cloth with or without a mouth hole and soak it in a large bowl of cool, clean water. Hold it there for five seconds. 
Once it's removed, you'll have about five minutes working time before it dries. Lightly smooth out the water from top to bottom. The next step may feel confining. Your partner can give the signal to have the mask removed any time, however this might prevent it from being completed. Slowly lay the folded cloth from mid-neck up the face. Align the nose holes with the nostrils and mouth hole if you have one with the mouth. Your partner can widen the nose holes with their fingers if it's needed and you're both responsible for ensuring that breathing is always easy. With the nose holes always aligned on the nostrils, firmly pull the plaster cloth, but not the skin, slightly away from the face to create slack between the chin and lips, the nose and lips, and the nose and eyes. Use the slack to mold the cloth into the contours of the face and to help define the crevices around the mouth, nose, and eyes. Remember to regularly ask if your partner is okay and to get confirmation with hand signs or sounds. Dip your fingers in the water to wet them if you need to and smooth the cloth with your damp fingers to decrease the wrinkles. You probably won't be able to remove all the creases but those that are left can be used in the final design for unexpectedly terrific results. Stay with your partner the entire five minute drying time. The mask will cool inside and tighten slightly as it dries. Feel for soft spots and when there aren't any, the mask is done. Have your partner wiggle their face while you carefully remove the fragile mask. Once you've removed it, set the mask aside for 10 to 15 minutes to let it dry more before you strengthen it. While it's drying, have your partner wash up and you can both start working on the second mask. Both mask shells can be strengthened at the same time. To strengthen your mask, first turn the mask over and remove the cellophane eye covers that are inside. Gradually unroll, but never unfold, the small plaster cloth roll and cut off strips of appropriate lengths to go around the inside mask edge. Set the strips aside and place them roughly in the shape that they'll go on around your mask. When you're done cutting strips, get a bowl of clean cool water, take one strip at a time, and soak it for three seconds in the water. Smooth off the excess water. Make sure your mask isn't too close to the dry strips because getting water drips on them could make them unusable later. And place the wet strip along the inside mask edge. Rub the strip firmly all over to join it with the mask. Then repeat this process with each strip. Dip the strip and hold it for three seconds in the water. Smooth off the excess water. Make sure each strip overlaps the previous one as you place the strips along the inside edge of the mask and rub each one into the mask and the previous strip. Follow these steps with all the strips, placing them along the entire edge inside your mask. The semi-dry mask base is now ready to be enhanced through painting, decorating, and sharing it with others.